क्वांट सिलेबस आई थिंक आई थिंक आई हैव डिस्कस लिटिल बिट लिटिल बिट लास्ट वर्कशॉप आल्सो दिस इज डिवाइडेड इन योर फाइव मेजर चैप्टर्स नंबर्स अल्जब्रा अरिथमेटिक ज्योमेट्री एंड मॉडर्न मैथ दे नो नो नीड टू एक्सप्लेन फर्दर एंड फर्दर अल्जब्रा इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट्स अल्जब्रा पार्ट वन पार्ट टू अरिथमेटिक इज डिवाइडेड फर्दर इन टू पार्ट्स अरिथमेटिक पार्ट वन पार्ट एंड पार्ट टू फर्स्ट वी हैव टू गिव द प्रायोरिटी फॉर योर नंबर्स अल्जब्रा पार्ट वन एंड अरिथमेटिक पार्ट वन दिस इज योर फेज वन सिलेबस फॉर क्वांट वट आर द बेसिक थिंग और यू कैन से मेजर सब टॉपिक और कॉन्सेप्ट वी आर डीलिंग इन द नंबर्स लास्ट वर्क्स ऑफ आई एक्सप्लेन बट टूडे नो नीड टू एक्सप्लेन यू नो ऑलरेडी नंबर्स बेसिक टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर्स रियल नंबर लाइन्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नंबर्स वेराइटी ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज आर देयर और नंबर इवन नंबर ट्रैंगलो नंबर नेचर नंबर मिल मेनी प्रॉपर्टीज आर देयर एंड ऑल प्रॉपर्टीज आर इक्वली हेल्पफुल विच प्रॉपर्टी यू विल एबल टू यूज फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम इट मे बी यूजफुल फॉर सम अदर टाइम इन डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव नंबर पैटर्न एंड अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन पावर साइकिल डिविजिबिलिटी थेवरम्स रिमाइंडर थेवरम फैक्टर्स फैक्टोरियल्स सम ऑफ स्क्वायर्स डिफरेंस ऑफ स्क्वायर डिजिट सम यू कैन से मेजर सब टॉपिक इन नंबर्स दीज मेनी आर देयर If any point of time you want to revise, you just note down all these all these subtopic and just uh, you can recall all the concept related to this particular. Everything again it will be go in depth. Like remainder theorem, we will go. Then it will be six to seven theorems are there for different type of scenario, different type of questions, or different type of uh, number pattern. And divisibility again based on the different type of remainders. Plus one, minus one, and zero. We have to apply different theorems or different rules. Factors again, you can say, and again reverse of factors. This having plenty of a scope, and based on that, number advance also one of the sub topic is there based on the reverse of factor. Why reverse of factor we choose for higher level of questions because it is giving a multiple, multiple possibility for questions. One question we can create multiple possibility. due to reverse of factor always you keep in mind it is one of the area where always tough question will be asked next is factorials and related to factorial i will just today discuss one advanced question then you will surprise how we can correlate factorial with other concept sum of a square difference of a square digit sum just will come uh, today target is will discuss few questions of cat paper you can say previous year or uh, previous to previous year in mean last 2 to 3 years and afterwards we'll do the analysis of question it will be eye opening if you will read carefully the question many of the ways are there you will able to save the time many of the ways are there you will able to save the time and many of the times without investing much time and effort you will able to mark correct answer with 100% confidence think different way how to think i will show you again the last works of it was much interesting five six question i discussed today also will try to discuss explore the better and other possible solution and use very fundamental number pattern these four or we just in front of you this is uh, questions from cat 19 slot 2 it was theta based question looks very complicated once you will look first just by seeing the first attempt or first time you may feel i should attempt in round 1 or not the question is given in the form of power and power is given in terms of variable this is only problem here this is only problem if variable is given in the form of base then dealing will be easy but same variable if it is given in the form of power then it is a little difficult afterwards this number also and this also big number how to deal this type of problem it looks like algebraic problem it looks like algebraic problem or algebra problem but basically it is a numbers problem how we can just make this question much easier just by observation can we make much easier one observation will be there based on the unit digit why based on the unit digit every method or every observation if you are choosing you must make question to yourself why we are choosing this method reason behind that like one number is related to five Five unit digit always it is fixed five. This is giving one of the flexibility. This is giving one of the flexibility. Based on that, we will able to understand how many possibility for y will be there to make the unit digit six. Are you getting my point? How many possible value of y can we have can be to make unit digit six? Why we are not taking from first equation? 
that also you can ask this is only real preparation why we have not taken first equation why we are targeting second equation reason behind that first equation is given in subtraction and decimal system you know subtraction we can take from this side and carry forward also will be play the role then you will get multiple multiple solution for x and y but he certain limitation you will get due to we will first pick the second equation 5 to the power x minus 1 plus 3 to the power y plus 1 is equal to we don't know it is 6 and this is maximum four digit number this will be always one sorry this will be always five then this must be one then only it will be six then only it will be six we don't have other possibility to make it unit digit six if one is not there then further 11 will be need needed 11 is not coming in the picture of power cycle only single digit will come what is the power cycle of three i think everybody would be remember correct three to the power four will always one means y plus one always will be in the form of 4k second analysis power of 5 we know 5 to the power 4 it is 625 and 5 to the power 5 it is 3125 try to remember try to remember power of 5 from 1 to 6 that will be sufficient why 1 to 6 because at 6 it is becoming 5 digit number then if it is asking to 4 digit number then we have only 4 option 5 square 5 q 5 4 5 to the power 5 here this is a big number we will use only 5 to the power 5 now almost it is almost it is break as fundamental level means x minus 1 will be 5 y plus 1 accordingly it may be 4 or 8 that much only can be possible but only thing we have to check at the 3 to the power 4 or 3 to the power 8 which number after adding 3 1 2 5 it is making this one means here x minus 1 it will be 5 means x will be equal to 7 and here y will be equal to accordingly we can find and we have to find x plus y but just suppose if you have not observed in this way if you have not observed in this way then what will happen you will spend a lot of time lot of time to just solve one question and afterwards if it is not solved or you have not got correct answer because it is theta question you are not having the option choices just will move to the second question this is further interesting and this is you can say typical question we are facing many of the times everybody knows and this another problem will be there all the option choices are very nearby 18 19 20 21 if little mistake here there then we will force to make the mistake how to solve this question first we'll take first common term 19 afterwards here common difference is 4 here common difference is 5 what will be lcm 20 and minus 1 into 20 it must be less than 415 which is lesser in between 415 and 464 just by seeing itself you can say n minus 1 must be less than 20 no need to solve it n minus 1 must be less than n minus 1 must be less than 20 and must be less than 21 just before 21 it will be 20 we are not worried to find exact exact which number will be there that will be the series of this number like 19 next number will be 39 next number will be again 20 we have to add 59 this will go somewhere and last number whatever will be there nth number that will be must be less than 415 here many of the times we will waste time to find this nth term no need to find no need to find if just you have written equation in this way that is sufficient to guess it will be 21 it cannot go beyond